Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Elder Scrolls for Oblivion. I'm just getting rid of my stuff because it's my desk is a cluttered mess. All right, so we are. Whoa, shh. My chair fell backwards. You know what? We're keeping that in. I think that'll be a good laugh. All right, so we are going to go to Bruma. We're finally doing it, guys. All right, so we are going to go to Bruma and do, and finally, we are in the home stretch, ladies and gents. We are at the home stretch, so we are going to go to Bruma. Well, first we need to talk to Martin Septum, um, and everything like that, and then, um, go to Bruma and finally. Face down this threat. Actually, no, there. Sir. What do you need, friend? You're back. And you've got the great stone. You did. I can count on you. <clears throat> I never thought to see a great Welkin stone as beautiful as all the old tales tell. But of course its beauty is a mask for its deadly power, like everything crafted by the Aeliads. Now, we need only one more item, and we'll be ready to open a portal to Manka Cameron realm. What is the last item we need? I should have seen it sooner. It's the counterpart to the Great Welkinstone. Just as the first two were the opposed powers of the Daedra and the Divines. Welkin stones contain the concentrated power of Mundus. Their counterparts are sigil stones, which are used to hold open Oblivion gates. A great sigil stone, then, is what we require. You're not going to like it. Geoffrey doesn't like it. The Countess of Bruma certainly isn't going to like it. Great sigil stones are the anchors of great gates, the kind of gate the mythic dawn opened at Kavach, the kind of gate the mythic dawn wants to open here to destroy Bruma. So we let them open the gate. I said you weren't going to like it. The risk is great, I know. I was at Kavach. I saw the terrible power of the Daedric siege engine. But we have no choice. The only way to recover the Amulet of Kings is to allow the Mythic Dawn to proceed with their plan to attack Bruma. Uh, at least you'll be safe here. No. I'll lead the defense of Bruma myself. If I am to be Emperor, it's time I started acting like one. It's too risky. I'll lead the battle. Remember when we first met in Kavach? I told you that I didn't want any part of the God's plan. I still don't know if there is a divine plan, but I've come to realize that it doesn't matter. What matters is that we act, that we do what's right when confronted with evil. That's what you did at Kavach. It wasn't the gods that saved us, it was you. Were you acting for the gods? I don't know, but now it's my turn to act. As you command. Please, my friend. I need your judgment, not your obedience. I explain myself to you so you understand me, and so you can explain to the Countess. I'm afraid she may take a bit more convincing than you. I'll inform the Countess at once. Good. Have her meet me in the Chapel of Talos for a council of war. That seems a fitting place to make such desperate plans. What is it? Martin has made his decision. The blades stand beside him. The Daedra Prince of Destruction. He was involved with... Farewell.
I'll just walk there. Or run, or whatever. Greetings. What news from Cloud Ruler Temple? A desperate plan indeed. This prince? Emperor? Martin would risk my whole city to gain a great sigil stone? This is the only way to stop this invasion from oblivion? I must confess, you are the first person to speak of victory against these Daedra. This war seemed hopeless to me, but what else was there to do but hold on and wait for a hero to arise to save us? And now it seems there is an heir to the throne after all, hidden at Cloud Ruler Temple. And perhaps a hero as well? You avoid answering my question. Very well. Don't think I doubt you. The rulers of Bruma have long had dealings with Cloud Ruler Temple. We know whom they serve. I will meet Martin at the chapel. When all is ready, I will order my men to stop closing the gates and prepare for battle. I don't know you, and I don't care to know you. I can't wait to get back to skin bag. I ain't cut out for this damn better. My gods! Of course. Did you ever hear about the ghost of Lord Glyndworth? I understand they say the ghost of Roe become increasingly prevalent in the Somerset Isles. It seems Somerset Isle has become a much more dangerous place. Good day. You too. Your Highness, I am Narina Carvain, Countess of Bruma, at your service. There is no need for any formality at this time. I am not Emperor yet, and I am quite new to this notion of being heir to the throne. Thank you for coming. I know I am asking for a great deal of trust, but this is the only way. I would not suggest it otherwise. Your champion has already explained the situation to me. I have agreed to it. We will not win this war through caution. You have a rare gift to know when desperation is the path of wisdom. I will do everything in my power to defend your city, my lady. If Bruma falls, the Empire falls with us. So be it. When you're ready for battle, the Countess will order her men to stop closing the gates outside the city. We must allow the Mythic Dawn to proceed with their plan 
to open three lesser gates outside Bruna. According to the plans you captured from those spies, they need three lesser gates open before they can open a great gate. The great gate will allow them to bring out the siege machine to blast the walls of Bruma, just like at Kavach. But it's our only hope to get the great sigil stone we need to complete the ritual. You'll have to act swiftly when the great gate opens. It is now clear to me that the only emperor amulet while the, the all right Farewell. i'm ready for battle when you are champion what say you so be it bruma's fate is in the hands of the gods now and yours bird deploy the troops for battle I've arrived at the battlefield to find one open oblivion gate. Once all three, three are open, the mythic dot done will open the great gate, which I must enter and retrieve the guy. Okay. Okay. Make a save right here. <laughs>
He's getting gang banged. Come at me, bro. Shit.
Shit! Get, get out of here, you asshole. Okay, I need to heal. Oh, my hand's shaking. What the hell? All right. God damn it.
Okay, you know what? What? Son of a fucking... Okay. Give me that great rope called Stone Fool. Out of this place. Ah, oh, my hand was shaking like crazy, man. a great victory here today. We now have the means to recover the Amulet of Kings from Manka Cameron. But we need to act quickly. Cameron will not take long to recognize his danger. Remember, the portal closes behind you. Anything you need, carry it with you. I'll have the ritual ready in the Great Hall when you arrive. Farewell. The only way to close our... I have everything necessary for the ritual to use the Xarxes to open a portal to Cameron's paradise. Remember, the portal will close behind you, so you will need to take everything you need. As a young man, I agree with you. I okay. Farewell, my friend. All right, I'm going to save it right there and I'm going to end it because Bankron Cameron's paradise is going to be a pain in the ass. Oi, oi, oi.
what I am going to do is I'm going to repair my gear. <laughs> I will end the episode there, guys. All right. And I need to heal. <laughs> I need to heal. How, how much did that? No, not too bad. But yeah. Um, I hope you all enjoyed this episode, guys. Next episode, we will go into main car Cameron's Paradise. And then, after that, go into... Go into... Or fight Mayrun's Ma Tagon. So, yeah. Uh... If you enjoyed this episode, guys, make sure to drop a like and subscribe to the channel and leave a comment if you want. You don't have to, but it were, like I read every comment you guys put out. So, but yeah, uh, and I'll catch you on the next time. Have a fantastic day. Goodbye.